Hi everyone, welcome back to Alistair Davis Golf. Thank you for joining me on my YouTube channel today. Today we're looking at how we can fire our body through the ball correctly. So I wanna give you a few little exercises to help you rotate and extend, rotate and relocate as my friend Martin Chuck calls it, into the finish position correctly and using your body correctly. So effectively how we use our body through the hitting zone and through to the extension to give you the best possible outcomes. Ideally straight long shots. So if you are a new viewer, please consider following or subscribing. I post three videos a week on a variety of subjects. So keep watching to learn how. So we're looking at how we can move our body through the ball efficiently and effectively. And what I call rotate and extend or rotate and relocate. First thing I want you to do is get an alignment rod if you have one. Put it on the ground just outside your trail foot. And from there I want you to think, okay, how would I get energy to throw this stick into the net? So what would I do? So we think about what we're doing here. The hands are going from a low position to a high position. And I'm generating all the movement and power, because the club's stuck to the ground, through my pelvis and through my chest and torso. So I'm rotating and extending. So the extension is kind of chest up. Still trying to maintain my tilt as I do it. The arms are working around the corner and I'm getting that kind of feel. So an alignment rod doing that is a great way to feel this. You can also use a broom if you're at home and you want to do something when you haven't got a net. So a broom on the patio, kitchen, wherever you've got room to do it with, will give you the same kind of feels. Once you've done it with a broom, same exercise with a club. Obviously a club's a bit heavier, so it feels a bit different, but the same principles apply. Extending and rotating is such a key piece. It helps keep the hands nice and quiet, it helps deliver the speed, and it gives you control over your path and club face so much more. Then what I want you to do is hit a ball doing the same thing. Now don't expect the ball to go too far. It's gonna go a very short distance. But if I stood back here, so get myself set to the ball, move the club there, club resting on the ground, and kind of, you know, no energy in it at all, but we're trying to hit it as far as we can and drive it all with the body. So we're just here, take a setup, extend and rotate. And it gives you a great feeling of taking those hands from that low position, moving up, in, and round, and also getting the body to rotate and extend at the same time. Vital drills. We see, and I see, so many golfers that get into kind of this kind of shape through impact. Arms breaking, the club passive, not really traveling or extending or catapulting to target, the body stopping, the head staying down, with this drill, we're really looking for you to rotate your neck, extend your body, pelvis up, push off the ground. All those things are gonna happen naturally by doing these exercises. The last exercise within this would be to do a probably mini backswing and then try and hit it as far as you can doing the same thing. So if I take my setup again to the, to the mat here and to the net, and if I swing to here, and from there I feel I'm gonna do exactly the same. Okay, a little bit thin in contact, but I'm really trying to exaggerate what we're trying to do. Really trying to feel like we pull the hands from low. Again, this would be the lowest point with the hands, around about here, and then they're gonna work upwards. We see a lot of golfers don't get the hands in the lowest position there. They get the hands in the lowest position much later because they're coming across the golf ball. But pressing this kind of low, extending and rotating is also gonna help encourage hopefully the right path too. So the speed in the right area, the movement of your body, the tilts and the turns, the throwing the club to the target as a concept is a great way to think about your fall through. You know, if I'm thinking of a picture here as opposed to there, it's going to help me drive that speed through the ball with more commitment and focus than ever before. So it's a really good way of looking at the golf swing. And these drills, even if you've got tennis balls, airflow balls, anything around the house, squash balls, you know, you can actually start with a the club on the ground and push the object as far as you can. If you have nothing, find something you can use, right? Um, again, it could be 
a cushion. It could be anything you've got lying around the house that you could use, a physio board, anything that you could use to make movements at and move and just put energy into. It will help your golf swing no end, I guarantee it. So I hope you enjoy today's video on looking at the how to fire your body through the ball, how to push through the ball correctly, how to drive your hands through the ball correctly. All those things really in one kind of video. If you have, please click like and share the video. Really appreciate if you can do that. Also, please ask any questions, post any comments, any feedback down below. It's really appreciated if you do that. Also, if you haven't followed already, please consider doing so. Hit my logo down this bottom corner. Join me on my journey and help me improve your golf. So I'm looking to post three videos a week on a variety of subjects. Obviously, we're in lockdown, so most of the stuff is based in my garden, unfortunately. I'll be back on the golf course hopefully soon. Um, on that note, just make sure you're staying safe and staying at home. And I hope to see you again here very soon.